In a world where international relations teeter, on the razor's edge of diplomacy and espionage, the UK's latest allegations against China threaten to ignite a firestorm of controversy as the British government prepares to clamp down on what it claims are egregious breaches of its sovereign cyber territory. Questions loom over the legitimacy and fallout of such decisive actions, with accusations of Chinese hackers infiltrating the very heart of the UIK's democratic process. The stage is set for a geopolitical showdown that could reshape alliances and redefine global power dynamics. Is this a justified defense of national security or a dangerous escalation towards new Cold War tensions? World sanctions loom and political giants ready their arsenals of rhetoric and reprisal. The international community watches with bated breath what will be the repercussions of these actions not only for the UIK and China, but for the delicate fabric of international law in an era marked by cyber skirmishes shadowing diplomatic engagements. The stakes have never been higher. The integrity of democratic institutions hangs in the balance, vulnerable to the silent wars wedged through digital incursions. As we delve deeper into this unfolding drama, stay with us till the end for a comprehensive look at each provocative turn and controversial twist in this modern-day saga of espionage. Hello and welcome back to Innovative Check YouTube channel, where we delve into the innovative and transformative projects changing our world. If you're new to the channel and enjoy learning about innovation stories around the world, you've come to the right place. Please subscribe, like, and comment to help boost our videos on YouTube. The UK government is poised to impose sanctions on individuals suspected of participating in Chinese government-backed efforts to interfere with Britain's democratic processes. This alleged interference includes a significant cybersecurity incident that resulted in the unauthorized access to the personal data of millions of UIC voters. Details of the proposed sanctions are expected to be disclosed on Monday. Reports suggest that the sanctions could target those linked to cyber attacks on the UIK's Electoral Commission, which not only affected the organization itself, but also compromised the personal details of approximately 40 million voters. Additionally, these cyber attacks have targeted several members of parliament and peers. Just a quick reminder to hit the like button below. YouTube has been restricting my videos a lot recently because of bots, so your like does help out this video massively in terms of the algorithm in YouTube. Deputy Prime Minister Oliver Dowden is slated to inform Parliament about these issues, attributing the cyber attacks to Beijing. He will also discuss the breach involving the voter information, which has been a pivotal concern. The response to this suspected interference has also involved confidential briefings to key political figures who have taken a hard stance on issues related to China. Among those briefed were Sir Ian Duncan Smith, a former Conservative Party leader, Tim Lawton, a former minister, Lord Alton, a crossbench peer, and Stuart MacDonald, an SNP MP. These politicians are members of the Interparliamentary Alliance on China, IPIR, a group that addresses concerns about China's growing assertiveness on the global stage. The individuals briefed are preparing for a joint public statement on the matter, which is scheduled for Monday. As this unfolds, the UK government is also moving forward with reforms to its spying laws. The Investigatory Powers and Mint Bill is set to be debated in the House of Commons. This legislation aims to streamline processes for surveillance agencies to access and retain large data sets which might include publicly accessible online records such as telephone directories. These developments come at a time of heightened scrutiny of international cyber operations and reflect growing concerns over foreign interference in domestic political and electoral processes. The UK has action signal a robust approach to national security and the safeguarding of its democratic institutions against external threats. If you are enjoying this video so far, please don't forget to subscribe, share the video and comment. Amid these developments, the international community is closely watching the UK's stance on China, particularly as relations between Western nations and Beijing remain tense. The UK's decision to potentially sanction individuals linked to these cyber attacks aligns with broader Western efforts to counter what they perceive as aggressive actions by China in the cyberspace arena. This move also reflects a strategic shift in the UK's foreign policy towards a more assertive stance against threats to its sovereignty and democratic processes. It highlights the increasing importance of cybersecurity and data protection in national security strategies. The alleged interference by Chinese-backed hackers has sparked a debate within the UIK 
about the adequacy of current legislative measures to protect against foreign cyber threats, the investigatory powers amendment. Bill, while primarily focused on enhancing domestic surveillance capabilities, is also part of a larger effort to bolster the nation's defenses against such incursions. Furthermore, the involvement of high-profile politicians in addressing these issues underscores the significant political and diplomatic stakes at play. The public statements planned by members of IPAC aim to shed light on the challenges posed by China and to rally support for more stringent measures to protect the UK's democratic systems. As this situation unfolds, the global implications of the UKI's actions could be substantial. Sanctions against individuals involved in cyber attacks not only serve as a deterrent, but also as a signal to other nations about the seriousness with which the UK views the integrity of its democratic institutions. Moreover, this incident adds another layer of complexity to the UK China relationship, which has been strained by various issues, including human rights concerns and economic disputes. The UK's response to these alleged cyber attacks will likely influence its diplomatic interactions with China and could reshape its alliances and partnerships on the international stage. The outcome of Monday's announcements and the subsequent reactions will be critical in defining the future trajectory of UK-China relations and could potentially set a precedent for how democracies address and counter foreign interference in their internal affairs. Thank you for your attention and I welcome your thoughts and questions on this complex and vital subject. Do you want to watch more videos like this one? If yes, please like and share the video and subscribe to get exclusive videos about how phenomenally China is developing and growing its influence. Your subscriptions and likes motivate us to generate more content, so please keep supporting us. Check out this video showing on your screen right now, and I will see you on the other side.